Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Streaming Alchemy. I'm John Mahoney, and we're doing a special show today. This is not a live show. This is a pre-recorded show. But I wanted to do a follow-up from what we did on last week's show with layered graphics using Photoshop. But I wanted to show you how you can do it just with vMix. So if we want to recall, let me just put up a image here. What we did when we were putting this together is we created a graphic where there was an image in the front and then a processed image in the back, sort of that blown up, desaturated image, which was sort of cropped and faded on the edges. So we use Photoshop to do it, and there's a, a huge amount of control inside of Photoshop. But I wanted to just do a quick video that showed you how you could do this all for at least a very, very similar effect within vMix. So let's switch over to vMix, uh, the UI, and we'll go through what I did here. So let me sort of switch this over and I can show you what this effect uh, would look like. So I'm gonna put this here and then I had this overlay set up. So if you look here in the upper right corner, what I have is something that's very similar. I have this phone image in the front and then behind it, we have this sort of washed out shadowy image, which covers basically the same sort of effect we had before. And I can go and I can just swap whichever one, whichever phone image I want and get that same background effect uh, happening. And if you look at the overlay, I'm gonna just put this over in preview because you could sort of see it with nothing. Actually, let me you know just try to show you. If we go through here, you can see these are the different images. It's a little hard with the dark background, but you get, you get the general impression. So how did we do that? The first thing we did is we just created a list inside of vMix, and that's this right over here. So let me put this here, which has each of the phones. And then inside the list, I can just switch uh, using select index to pick which index in my list, which L image in my list do I want to display. But this is where we start to do a few more things. What I do now is I actually take and create a mix input. So this input, which is listed back, which is the background image, that is, uh, let me sort of show you here. If you can see, this is a, a mix. So this is mix two that we have in here. And the reason we're doing this is that it lets me take the single image from a list and then use that as my input to the mix. And then I can process that image in the mix without affecting the main image. This is very similar to what we had with the smart objects inside of Photoshop, where I have something that encapsulates uh, the original image and lets me process it. So I'm doing that here. And when I set this up, what I'm doing is a few things. So let's, let's just start uh, at the top. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm doing some color adjustments. So this is, gives you a sense of what I have with the background image. So I have the ability to sort of tweak the color of this. So I could turn around and desaturate it completely and that would just be black and white, which is pretty much what we did last week. Uh, but I could go, if I needed to, I could go and sort of change this to create more of a tinted effect. Uh, if I wanted to create something that had sort of a different color pattern. I can also go and adjust things like the, uh, the darkness uh, and the lightness of the image. So I can make it lighter or brighter using the black stretch and the white stretch. And I also can apply an alpha channel to it. So I've just taken and done some processing to this image. It's a little more purple than what I started with, but uh, you should get the, the, the general sense of how this is all working. So that was the first thing we did. The second thing we did is that we applied a gradient mask to it. And that gives us that feathering on the bottom, which is something we also had in uh, last week's show for that background layer of the layered images. So we put that together and that gives us that feathering there. The third thing that we've done is we've actually added a Gaussian blur. So that creates more of the fuzziness of the image. Uh, 
this is one of those functions where a lot of people ask, well, what would you ever use it for? It, it could be good for something very similar to this, where you want to do that type of uh, you know, video distortion for something that you want to de-emphasize but still have be visible. So that's basically what we've done here, and we've done this all in Mix 2. So that gives us that background layer as we set it up. So what I then do is I take this foreground layer and the background layer, and I create what I call the phone stack. So in here, I just have multiple layers with the foreground, the original image coming from my list, and the background coming from my mix stacked together. And so I put this over here. And so you can see now, if I look at this from a layer's point of view, I just have the background and the foreground. And this gives me that next layer where I can start to tweak stuff. So I want to go in and shrink it or expand it or do anything to it, sort of reposition it. I can do all that. And, you know, this gives you, again, control that you don't have in Photoshop. So there's sort of positive trade-offs as well going to a vMix only. And, you know, again, this just gives you a little more flexibility when you set the layers together. And then uh, for the last thing, I put this inside of my overlay uh, input. And the overlay input is a transparent color input that I stack this in for this. So let's, all I have is this one image in here, but if I wanted to also add a lower third or something else, I could do that. Uh, because this is coming in uh, as a stack layer, I could also do things to go around and sort of zoom in position if I wanted to do anything special to, to sort of align this or stick this into different locations inside of the final image I want. And with that, I can then, let's put this image up here. If you can see, I then have this overlay on, so I can just bring this stack layer on and off as an overlay. And I'm sorry, that's this guy here. And uh, so when I bring that on or off, I can then go through the list. And each time I change the list over here, it gets processed inside of my mix, which creates the background image. It gets stacked inside of this transparent image with layers. And then it gets uh, put on as an overlay over my final image. So this was just something I wanted to follow up from from our last show because I know everybody doesn't have Photoshop uh, and maybe some of your other photo editing or image editing apps wouldn't support the type of thing I showed. So I just wanted to cover a different way to do that using just vMix. So hopefully you found this uh, little brief update useful. Uh, we are going to try to have a live show next week, but uh, we, you know, just wanted to, to stay in touch here this week and give you a, a little quick update. So hope you found it all useful. Thank you very much for, you know, watching, for all the support you give in this channel. And be safe, be well. See you next week.